Alessandra and I'm back with another video. A lot of people have actually been asking me how to prepare for a concert so I do go to a lot of those and I happen to know a little bit about a little bit so I'm gonna share what I do normally when I get ready for a concert the day before and the day of. Now it all depends on like what time your concert is. Is it right in the morning? Do you have to camp out for it or is it just at night because you have like regular seats so you can actually walk in like a regular person and not worry about getting in line or being first there. That is so much less pressure but I mean having GA is actually GA if you don't know because a lot of people don't know surprisingly it's general admission that's when you don't have a seat and you have to get there super early and you have to be like right in line but the best thing about that is you can get closer to the stage and you're with a whole bunch of people surrounding you who love the same person, hopefully, because if they don't, then it's a little awkward and they're probably just there to drink and have a good time, which isn't fun because they sometimes spill it on you, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but all right, I'm just going to get right into this so you know what to do because I'm sure you have concerts that are coming up. And this also applies to the Sounds Live Feels Live because a lot of people are still asking me questions about what to do and what to bring for that. Uh, from my video a couple of weeks ago, so I will also add on to that. So the first thing is the day before. You're probably going to want to take your phone and empty out all your pictures onto your laptop, and if they don't fit on your laptop, I have an external hard drive. It looks like this, and what I do is I just plug it into my laptop and I just Literally, you could put so many things on it, whether I have videos from previous concerts and everything, it's awesome. So I empty that out so it definitely have enough storage and you're not in the middle of concert deleting apps because I've done that too. Um, now the next thing is to have your outfit picked out. You don't necessarily have to do this the day before, you can do this like a week before, whatever, if you're more prepared. Make sure you're wearing something breathable because inside the concert venue it's typically warmer because you're with a whole bunch of people and it's going to be sweaty and you're going to be danced around. So don't wear anything congested. Okay, so sorry if that just like cut off. My battery died. Of course. What else is new? Um, I always forget to charge things for some reason. Like I know I have to charge them and then I'll forget about it and then I, they die when I need them the most. That sounds really sad, like some tragic story. Well, oh well. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I was saying don't wear anything constricted because it's hot in there. And also, like you can wear something revealing if you want because that's up to you. But I'm just saying you want to be comfortable. You're going to a concert. You see the artist. They probably won't see you that much. But when you went to Soundcheck for Sounds Live Feels Live, they did see you because you were in broad daylight and you were right by the stage. So, I mean, you could get a little dressed up if you want. I did. I wore this cute, like, dress from Hollister. And, um... I don't know, it was really comfortable and also I sweat a lot so it had a ruffle thing that like went over your arms so if you did sweat and you got stains you couldn't see them so a little trick I did because man when it was 97 degrees you're gonna sweat so I don't care how you think that's gross if you have no control over it I did wear deodorant so that's just me. The next thing, pack a bag. You are going to need something to hold all your belongings. The things that you should bring in a bag are, I'm gonna, I have a list, so yes, I made a list. <laughs> um, you're gonna want oil absorbing sheets. I have these that I usually use. Um, all you do is, they, they're so handy because your face will get oily if you have oily skin and you just blot it and if anybody else needs them, you can hand them out because they will thank you. <laughs> Uh, you bring your money. I would say bring at least $50 because if you want merch then you're gonna have to do the merch but I mean there were $45 t-shirts at the Faisal show so I wouldn't recommend buying the most expensive thing but if you do plan on getting a shirt then bring more money and you're gonna need to eat so do not do not do not do not, do not spend so much money on merch that you cannot eat because you will, yeah, I don't care, you probably will pass out. Please eat, please. Um, and drink water. You're gonna wanna bring portable chargers and wires. I was stupid, I brought a portable charger and didn't bring the charger, like the actual wire for my phone. So I had to use my friends, but even still, I, 
definitely bring those and charge them the night before also. Like I said, bring a water bottle. You can bring one water bottle into I'm pretty sure every event that you go to as long as it's sealed and it wasn't like broken at all and bring a couple snacks so if you're waiting in line you get hungry like bring something that you know you can eat quickly because if they're not allowing it into the venue then you can just scarf it down right before you get in and it'll do the same thing uh bring gum nice breath uh, or if you're bored, you could just chew gum in line. Uh, you're gonna want to bring pads or Advil. I usually have this little mini emergency thing where it has literally everything in there. So if anything went wrong, like the day of my show, I had cramps and I went to the bathroom, took some Advil, and I was fine. I don't know how I would have been a couple of hours if I didn't take the Advil, but thank God for the mini emergency. <laughs> bring sunglasses. I recently purchased these sunglasses from Ray-Ban. I am in love with them. They have like a purple reflection on them. I love, 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 love them. I don't normally spend a lot of money on things such as sunglasses, but I saw them and I've been saving up and I bought myself a pair. And bring sunscreen. Oh my god, you are gonna need sunscreen so badly. Let me tell you, the sun is going to be beating down on you. You need it. Um, also, eat lightly for dinner because you don't want your stomach to hurt the night before and then you can't go to the concert the next day. I have a lot of like stomach things, so like if I eat certain things, I never know what's going to happen. So I always eat lightly if I know I have somewhere important to go because that's like my worst nightmare, knowing that I can't go somewhere if I'm sick. Like, oh my god, that is my worst fear. So the days leading up to the event or the day of, I am so super precautionary about what I eat and intake into my body. And also, I know how exciting you are, excited you are for the show. Do not stay up all night. No matter how much it kills you, please relax yourself, have a cup of tea or something, but sleep. When I tell you you are going to be using all your energy for the show, you need sleep. Now the day of big day you made it you're here it's happening remain calm everybody remain calm it is happening oh my god okay it's happening everybody stay calm what's the procedure everyone what's the procedure stay, calm. Procedure? Calm. stay calm wait wait wait, wait. everybody you calm down <laughs> um you're gonna want to wake up at a decent time uh, but like i said if your show is at night and you have seats like a average person not saying that if you have seats you're not special because you could have vip and seats but anyway um you're gonna want to wake up at a decent time or you could sleep in i mean depending on the time you have to be there eat a light breakfast my whole speech about what you intake be careful what you eat um, like don't go start shoving your mouth with some cupcakes because you're definitely gonna not feel well afterwards um, Bring your bag because don't forget that you need all that um, Bring your tickets and ID <laughs> The most important thing because you cannot get in without the tickets and sometimes you may need an ID or like a passport or whatever in order to get in or to receive your tickets at will call because we needed that for the five star show and actually I didn't know that I needed my mom's ID as well so I had to text her and she sent me a photo and everything was good and the lady actually told me she was like wow you're really prepared <laughs> she was like the first person who actually had everything I was like I know <laughs> no I'm joking but like no she really did say that but I don't know what I just did <laughs> but I would recommend bringing a photocopy of your ID, um, your school, uh, a passport, and your mom's ID or dad's, whatever, or the card that you purchased the tickets with. That's the best. Make sure you have a ride back and there because you don't want to be stuck after the concert with no way of getting home unless you can Uber because whatever. I don't have a code. I don't Uber. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can find a code anywhere. And the last thing is enjoy your concert. It's so much fun. Don't die. You can do this. Like I said, make sure to go to the bathroom a couple of times right before the show as well, like in between opening acts if you want. Eat. Be smart about what merch you buy. If it looks like it's something that isn't well made or you can buy somewhere else or cheaper online, don't buy it at the show because chances are they jacked up the price and you don't need it there. You could spend way less money somewhere else on probably something better. 
and like even people make their own merch that looks even awesomer so like is awesomer a word probably not more awesome there we go <laughs> language um but yeah you could definitely be smart about what you buy and like i said have fun be safe and enjoy <laughs> all right if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below a concert that you're going to or if this helped and subscribe for more helpful videos i guess i don't know all right i'll see you guys maybe next week or maybe i'll put more videos up this week i don't know <laughs> all right bye